Praise the Lord, everyone. My name is Jennifer Anderson from Faith Apostolic Ministries, Faith Majestic Temple, and I'm here to testify how I got saved. As a teenager, I, you know, always wanted to be saved, but I have this thing in my mind that, you know, I don't want to go to, to, to get saved. I don't want to be saved until you know I graduated all for one simple reason because I wanted to press my hair press not even cream press my hair because my hair was dry and I wanted to you know look different for my graduation and so I have it in my mind to do it and I graduated and yes I pressed my hair that was the June but then, you know, I am wondering in myself, you know, how am I going to get saved when? But, you know, there's something about my mother. It doesn't matter who you are, where you are, as long as you're under her roof, you've got to go to church. And I remembered one day I said, I'm not going to go to church because, you know, I just don't feel today to go to church. So what I did, I didn't have a lot of clothes. I have one suit for church. And I deliberately let it be dirty because I don't want to go to church, remember? And, you know, when she called, say that everybody is to go to church, I indicated that, you know, my clothes is dirt dirty. And she said, okay, then come naked. That was when I realized that, hey, she's serious. So I had to get the dirty clothes, put it on and go to church. I went to church and in the night, I went back to church and by the way, I was a loner. I always go by myself, walk about by myself. I do things by myself. And I was a very stoosh person. That's what, what you call stoosh, proud person. And I remember going to church in the night and the pastor at the time, he said, everybody stand. And I was at the back because normally when I go to church, I go to church to listen for the mistakes that people make. And then I make a fun, you know, make fun of it. And he said, everybody stand. And everybody stood up and he said, all those who are baptized, repented of your sins and filled with the Holy Ghost, sit down. And I was at the back. Brethren, I could feel the eyes of my mother because she doesn't, just her eyes alone give the message. I could feel the eyes of my mother. I was about to sit down and then I looked and my mother's eyes and mine connect. And I stood up and the pastor said, now that you're standing, what will you do? And I contemplated and I decided that, you know, I'm going to go to the altar. And I went to the altar. And knowing me who was so stush, I don't want to, you know, shake up and lift up my hand and drop on the ground and so that anybody can see me. I don't want that. And I decided that, look here, mm -mm. if I need Jesus, I need to put away self. And I decided that, look here, this is it. I'm going to the altar. And I decided that I'm going to give my life to the Lord. I went to the altar and I surrendered my life to the Lord. And that was the... I first of all I got baptized the August and you know the October I decided that look here this is it and I surrendered my life to the Lord and I must say that I am happy today that I have given my life to the Lord and he has been keeping me ever since he has been my shelter he has been my keeper he has been my life he has been supporting me has been protecting me he has provided for me and you know all the time when I was trying to you know hold back myself and holding back some things and thinking that look here I would have served the Lord until 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 you know the Lord was still merciful because he could have cut me off but he didn't and he has given me that opportunity and I am grateful for that privilege that he has given to me. 
I am trusting him for the rest of my life. It's been, you know, quite a while since I am walking with the Lord. And I must tell you that I'm happy walking with him. I'm happy serving him. And I will not trade this for anything. Praise God. Somebody ought to testify.